What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I am here at St. Michael's Cemetery in Livermore, California. This is another old pioneer type cemetery. Uh, another cemetery where there's, you know, some founding fathers in here also. Um, and even a famous winery family that's in here too at some point. From what I understand, I, they're in here as well. Um, so let's get on with it and check out this old historic cemetery. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, the namesake of Livermore, California is also buried in here as well. So uh, let's check it out. Let's see here, Robert. This is Robert Livermore, the Livermore here family? Yes, I think so. Look at this beautiful stone. This is the namesake of Livermore, California here. Let's see here. Robert Livermore, born June 24th, 1840, died July 14th, 1886. This is Antoine Martin, born 1858, died 1839. Victoria Martin, De Martin, excuse me, born 1864 and died July 11th, 1945. Delphina Ratty, born November 25th, 1874, died September 19th, 1898. It's a beautiful stone. And the significance of this up here, the, the anchor, is I know Robert Livermore spent some time in the U.S. Navy. I was reading as well. He um, actually was born in England and spent some time as a cabin boy on a ship. Actually, aboard the English trading ship, the Colonel Young, it was called. He was like a cabin boy and got on, was uh, working on a ship when he made it out here to California. He also worked on various ranches between Monterey and San Jose, California. And there was a gentleman named William Mendenhall. I do believe I highlighted his grave on the last video. Um, who I think he was the one that had started Livermore, California. He actually named this town after his good friend, Robert Livermore. And that is the namesake. Just a brief history, something what I remember reading about Robert Livermore and how this town got the name Livermore. It's a longer story, but that's what little I can remember from it. Now, now with that out of the way, we found Robert Livermore. Let's explore this old cemetery. I mean, I'm in a section here that, like the last cemetery that was here in Livermore, that the um, that was over at Roselawn on the last video. The cemetery has two sides. It has a newer side and an older side. Um, and you guys know my Jones, my thing, are, are the older cemeteries. So we're gonna be over here on this side. This is a good sized area on this older side here. And it's got a lot of unique graves. I see a lot of people from Ireland, England, you know, on some of these stones. Some of this stuff's got a lot of damage in here. It's, it's, a, it's a very old cemetery. I do believe this one was established in the 1800s as well. So let's go without further ado, is check out more of these old areas. Some of them are covered by trees and bushes and it's crazy. Let's go. Oh boy. A lot of low hanging trees and stuff over here again. And they got memory, they got trees here in memory of certain people. Helen Hahn. They have a whole line of placards that are in memory of on certain trees here. Now this one back in here, this one looks like this is real old school here. Some of these stones I've noticed too, it's hard to read them as well because they're pretty weathered. But wow. Rodriguez, I think is the name on that. It's a family plot area. Yeah. This stone is going to be hard. 
hard to read, I think. I don't think this is going to be any kind of cakewalk here. Uh, Maria Florinda and uh, Dean Antonio, I think Rodriguez, I think. I can't, I can't really make it out that well. 1890. Yeah, this stone is real weathered. It's really hard to read. seeing over here, I think more, there's some hidden graves over here as well. Seen behind this bush is a curious little statue here. Is there a grave in here? Walk around, oh, this go, go around the back side here. I think there's an opening. I'm not sure if this is even a grave in here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know. It's just a statue. It could be, a, it could have been a grave in here. It could be a grave, that could be a statue marking it. You know, I just, everything's so overgrown and think everything here is hard to tell. This curious area, I think this over here was like some kind of old primitive kind of receiving vault, I do believe, you know. Not a structure, housing structure like a mausoleum, but I think, I don't, cause I'm not, I'm not seeing any markings on this. And it's just a lid with the two hooks on there for the chain to pull it up. But I think there's no markings on this. I'm willing to bet this was probably, yeah, there's nothing on here. I'm willing to bet this is probably a receiving vault. And, you know, again, when they were building some of these elaborate areas, you know, a temporary place to store people until it's done. If, you know, before they died, they didn't already build a mausoleum or have a family plot area, they would have to put you somewhere until your area was built. Your mausoleum or your, or your family plot area was, was done. And I think this was it because there's no markings nothing special it's just really plain so i think this is where they would temporarily hold hold uh, bodies and stuff until their places were done uh, another area here beautiful old school virginia and simon Let's see super super ballet 1866 to 1899 Virginia and Simon 1864 to 1954 obviously they still get some visits here they are not forgotten yeah some of these graves are just so old and damaged they're not even marked this one is marked with something but it's hard to tell the name on that I can't even tell I would assume the headstone is missing. It's kind of sad when you see damage in these things. You know, they were once a grave that belonged to somebody and now you can't even tell. This little stone over here. John Zilko, native of Austria. Here's an interesting one. Died at Livermore. At Livermore, March 6, 1904, aged 45 years. That's an interesting one. Another native of Austria here, Antoine Korditch. Died at either Tesla or Jesla, July 26, 1899, aged 35 years. Another young one. Marto Lameo Duto, born in Piedmont, Italy, died April 21st, 1898, aged 32 years. Wow. 
this is like a crown with a cross through it. Interesting. Interesting stone. Oh boy, another damaged <laughs> damaged area here. Ernesto Gio Giovine, native of Italy, 1918, died. The stone is all busted up. Let me try to go around the other side and try to cap capture a, a view of this without my shadow on it. I'll try to stay off to the side here. It's a beautiful stone. It looks like it was a beautiful stone at one time. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry out here. A lot of stuff blowing through the air. Another one that's not marked, I don't think. What is this? Looks like somebody had marked it. The stone is missing, I guess. And draw, D-R-A-G-H, I do believe. Leonardo. A beautiful old cemetery. I see some stones off the distance with some pictures on them as well. Isabella, July. Uh... So on that last clip, um, I have I'm filming this video on my phone. What happened was I brought my GoPro with me today, had it with me, um, w was filming my first video and went went to plop the battery in the GoPro and realized that I didn't have the memory card because. The last time I had filmed some videos, I took the memory card out to put it into an adapter to upload to my phone. Um, and I guess I never put the memory card back in the GoPro. So I'm filming this on my iPhone. And on that last clip, um, unfortunately, when you have a cell phone out and you're filming with a cell phone and the sun is beating down on it for a while, um, the phone gets too hot. And then as, as a safety precaution, so I guess I think it's damaged, the phone will shut down for a while. Um, and you can't use it until it cools down some. So that's what happened. It got, I had the phone out too long when I was filming and it shut down on me because the, the, the temperature on the phone got too hot. So that is the perils of filming on your, on your phone. So I got to remember next time to bring my memory card for my GoPro. But the GoPros too are also notorious for when they get too hot, they will shut down as well. Because I'm here in the direct sunlight. There's not a whole lot of trees here. There's a lot of trees, but where I was earlier, um, there wasn't a whole lot of trees, a whole lot of shade, so the phone got too hot and just shut down. So I'll wait a few minutes and go back over there and try to finish this video. Unfortunately, I was trying to film again and uh, my phone just shut down again because it got too damn hot. So I'm gonna come back here and do a redo at this cemetery. I know this video probably wasn't very long, but I'll do a redo here uh, when I bring my GoPro and everything. Like I said, the temperatures are just so damn hot, it's shutting my equipment down. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you dig this video or what, what little video I did, please give it a thumbs up and please share the video. And we will come back here uh, to St. Michael's and do a redo sometime soon. All right, guys, peace out.